Oh. <laughs> it's got some ice on it. Oh, this, this is definitely a negative test case. I really, really just love testing gadgets. And one of the things I like to do is creative testing, AKA negative tests. Does it turn on in cold weather? Does it turn off or does it overheat in direct sunlight for more than 99 minutes? How does it handle the snow? Let's find out, shall we? Here's the watch, the Koros Apex 2 Pro Killian Journey Edition. See this long press thing so we can unlock it. Do not disturb on. And now we go back down to battery life. We're at 96%. Says 24 days left. Estimated max daily use 29 days. GPS 43 hours. Last charge to 100. Last night, system 75%, backlight 18% usage, daily heart rate 7%, notifications 57. All right, so click back. And now we scroll here and we can see the steps. 393, two flights of stairs. And what's the temperature? We're at a temperature of 73 degrees. That's gonna drop. We're just gonna put that right there in the snow and come back in an hour or so. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let the negative testing commence. Good morning and look at those lovely mountains. You don't wanna look at me. Oh yeah. And then we have the sound of snow underneath the feet. That's an awesome sound. Overnight, we got not quite an inch of snow and it completely buried the Koros. So it's been outdoors in the elements for over 24 hours and for the last several hours it's been covered in snow. So let's find out what happened to the watch. Okay, just a few more seconds of that lovely view. And we have a bird chirping in the background. I wonder if we can zoom in with this fancy phone. Hello, bird. Whoop, whoop. Okay, that's a 20 zoom. Oh! He just dropped out of nowhere. There he is. Whoop. Oh! <laughs> it's got some ice on it. Oh, this, this is definitely a negative test case. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to read the screen with the ice, so let's bring it inside. But first, oh, we can unlock it. That's good. Scroll on down. Oh, there we go. Just gonna scrape it off with your fingernail there. Touch screen still works. And the temperature is 27 degrees Fahrenheit. That's cold. And if we look, at the step count, it should be zero. Yep, no sleep, no heart rate, no stats, because it's been hibernating outdoors all night. So let's see how the battery life is doing. Wow, the battery life is still at 95%. That's pretty good. And it's been outdoors for this long in the freezing weather. I mean, I'm in Utah after all. And Bluetooth's been on because it does not have airplane mode. So yeah, it's been connected to my phone the whole time. That's a pretty good durability test. So durability factor on the Koros Apex 2 Pro, at least this Killian Journey Edition, I would have to say that's a solid 11. I mean, I haven't tried a lot of other smartwatches out in the snow all night, but uh, hey, this one definitely passed. So thumbs up Koros. And there's that view again. It's been many, many hours. Well, let's take a look at the watches, shall we? The snow has melted. It's now 17.28. The long press unlock. 20 steps, so it hasn't moved. No sleep data, altitude, and the temperature. 36. Brr, that's cold. 94. So it only dropped 1%. 
being outside in this winter, winter weather all day. Good job, Koros. Good job. Remaining power 94%, estimated daily use 23 days, max 28, 42 hours, system 82, backlight, heart rate not much, 181 notifications. Next victim does have a solar panel, but for the last several hours it has been in the shade. 87. Okay. And what does it think the temperature is? Now, even though it says 7,000 steps, that's not right because I was wearing this one all day, the Epix 2.0. And if I scroll down, you can see 8,590. And once this one synchronizes, it'll be the same. Okay, what's the temperature? 38. Okay, 38, and this one was 39. Hmm, what are we thinking here? Are we thinking we should do a whole nother day outside? I don't know if it's gonna matter, but I think we should do another night. Yeah. So I'm just gonna leave these here overnight and we'll see what happens. See you in the morning, guys. Gals, objects, nouns, I'll, I'll see you in the morning. Here we go, nothing like a field trip. I had to find my furry. These watches have been outside all night all day yesterday, and most of Monday. And burr, is it freezing? So if we do a long press right there, that unlocks the phone. Scroll up. Oh, I got a text from Circular. Please create training plan. Yeah, no thanks. 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Frigid. And then this bad boy. Ah, enough of that. Look at those mountains. Isn't that gorgeous? I love living in Utah. It is the best. So that's 10x zoom on the S23. And now we're 20x zoom. 10x, 3x, 2x, 1, and half. That's pretty cool. Okay, back to the watches. So it says good morning. This is the Garmin Phoenix 7x Sapphire Solar. And then if I scroll on down, we get the morning report. Hi, well recovered. Base 755, interesting. A lot faster than the epics. Same minutes, five day. Today is your day, let's get it, thanks. Better life 87, so if we scroll up, we can find the weather, 30 degrees. Oh, that's cold. So this has changed to 32, 31. And now the battery life check. We're down to 93. And this one was at 87. So 93, 87, 79 days left in this cold weather. And then if I click here, 23 days left, or 28 if I'm not outside so much. 42 hours of GPS. Last charge was the 27th. So a little, almost three days ago system so that just tells what the battery life is going to and 231 notifications which is really cool so which one you should get the garmin now if you're just a trail runner you would probably like the koros the koros was designed for a trailer runner and it is snowing and my it's hard to feel my fingertips anyway the koros is a great watch especially this killian journey edition the velcro strap it's awesome However, because I don't run enough, it doesn't give me the details that I need for recovery and readiness and, oh, you had a really hard workout, you should probably take a break for four days. It doesn't tell me that because my primary method of workout is not running. Koros is working on that and they should have it fixed sometime in the next 11 to 18 months. Whereas Garmin, it takes in consideration your sleep, it takes into consideration walking, running, jogging, Yoga, Pilates, hit, swimming, running, cycling, indoor cycling, spin class. Did I say yoga? Your sleep, your stress, everything. And then it tells you after workout, hey, take it easy for the next four days, which I did achieve back in 2021 because I overtrained. So what did we learn from that snowy test from these fancy watches? One, 
between the low temperatures of 22 degrees Fahrenheit and 35 to 37 degrees Fahrenheit, the warmest, pretty much snowy, freezing temperatures, the battery on that course was only dropping 1% per 24 hours. And one of those nights, it was literally in the snow for a good eight hours or on the snow. Very impressive Coros. And then the Phoenix, the Phoenix 7X Sapphire Solar, because of the snowy weather, it wasn't getting enough sunlight, so the solar panels didn't do much good, but it was also dropping about one to one and a half percent per day. I don't know the battery size on this. So if you were to drop your watch in the snow, whether it's a Coros Apex 2 Pro or a Phoenix 7X, you would have a good two to almost four weeks, eh, two to three weeks before your battery went completely dead and hopefully it would be a quiet environment so you could hear it. You know, I think it's time to check up on the GSP and wrap this video up. Are you tired of me videotaping you yet? Thanks for going on the walk. That was a good walk, huh? You gotta check all your messages. Able to leave some replies, huh? You wanna go on another W this afternoon? After work? That sounds like a great idea. Okay, I'm gonna let you go back to your nap, okay? You, you go back to your nap now. You lovely GSP.